131. And I just want to tell you guys the habits that I have to create that, that kind of result. So the first thing that I did was that I've never paid car payments. I've always paid cash for my cars. Okay. The next thing I did was that when I bought my first home, I was renting out four rooms inside that house and I paid it off in two years and a half. It was $160,000 and I paid off that home in two years and a half. And what I've noticed is that when I paid off my home, my credit exploded because it became equity. They saw that I didn't borrow $350,000, I borrowed $160,000 and I was renting out some rooms which I was able to pay off that debt faster. So what they're looking at is your ability to pay debt. If you have no expenses, then it's very easy for you to pay off your debts. It's very easy to pay off those monthly uh, payments and this will increase your credit score. Another thing that I always did is that I've never spent more than 50% of my credit limit. If I had a credit limit of $5,000, I would never put more than $2,500 on my credit card. Another thing that I did was that every single time that I spent with my credit card, I made sure that I had money in the bank and I was using my credit card like a debit card. Every single weekend, I would put my amount to zero. I've never paid interest on a credit card. This is why my credit card went higher over the years. And when you have a high credit score, what does it do? What is the benefit of having a high credit score? Is that your ability to borrow at a low interest cost is higher. When you have poor credit, what's going to happen is that you're going to pay 5% instead of paying 2.5%. It doesn't sound like a lot, but when you borrow a million dollars, that's almost 20, that's $25,000 in difference between a person that has great credit and a person that has bad credit. Okay. So I've always, I've never went out to restaurants and every time that I would spend it was because I would spend on stuff that I really needed okay because the reason I'm saying this is that for you guys to manage your money as greatly as possible to increase that credit card that credit card score that credit score and to get the best interest so when you want to borrow and go invest in real estate that you're gonna be able to succeed um, I would just like to mention like all the little details beside increasing my credit credit score is that you need to remember that the less you spend, the easier it is for you to achieve financial freedom. So my perspective on this is that I was never eating out. I was always eating at home because you can save a lot of money when you do home cooking. I've always buy secondhand cars. I never buy a new car. And when I did buy a secondhand car, I made sure it wasn't older than 10 years. Like around 11 years, your car starts to break down a lot. And that's when the problems start to, to come up. What I did was that I bought a car that was about one to three years old and all the depreciation from the beginning had gone away. And if I wasn't able to pay cash for my car, I'd, I'd wait until I'd saved up enough money to pay cash. And then I'd buy a $5,000 car or a $10,000 car. And today I'm buying $20,000 cars, but I'm still paying cash for my cars. I don't want any monthly payments. What else is going to reduce your credit score? Every time you do an application to buy something else on credit, every time you apply for a new loan, it lowers your credit. If you go to many institutions to compare rates, it's going to lower your rate, your credit score for a while. And then it's going to go back up until you make a loan. And if you apply for a loan and it gets declined, this is going to hurt really badly your credit score because it's showing the bank that you didn't do your calculations before trying to buy something. And what, another thing that I'd like to mention is that a lot of people get declined on loans. You want to know why? The number one reason because my friend is a director at BMO Bank of Montreal and he told me the number one reason people get declined on loans 
is because they have too big of car loans. This is the, also one of the biggest factors my millionaire mentor told me when I was 19 years old. He told me to never buy a car and wait as long as possible to buy a car because he knew that the number one reason people had a lot of problems was their cars. Because if you buy something with a thousand dollar payments, it's going to prevent you from saving that money and building up equity and acquiring more assets. So hopefully this video makes sense. Uh, I just wanted to share that to make sure you guys can get the best credit. I know I, I look young, okay? I'm, I just like to mention I'm 32 years old and I've been investing since I was 19 years old. I started out in the military at 19 years old and I went for an avionics. I, was, I worked on F-18s. And I was saving 70% of all my income. I started out investing in CBGs. I went out into RRSPs. And then in 2010, I bought my first home. I started out in real estate. 2011, I bought a fourplex. And then I, in 2013, I bought my first tax lien certificate. Not a lot of people invest in those. I have a lot of experience. I have a lot of tricks to make it easier and faster to get your money back. And then in 2014, I bought another fourplex and we bought another sixplex and we bought another uh, tax land certificate. And 2015, I had my first child. 2018, I bought another fourplex. And in 2018, I bought two other uh, tax land certificates. I also bought another house and I had sold my first home that I bought in 2010, okay? And I started investing in stocks in 2014. So I did many ventures. I even did commercial uh, uh, hard money lending to people who wanted to invest. It's not something that I would recommend to anybody. It was a lot of work and it was not a lot of money in the back end. I also helped entrepreneurs who wanted to manage their money better and to use that equity and to, to save it and to grow their business, I was able to come in that business and see, oh my God, they're spending their money everywhere and they're not seeing why they're spending that way. So yes, exactly. I get the comments a lot of times that I look a lot, uh, look very young. I'm 32 years old. Of course, I almost never drink alcohol. I don't smoke. I exercise. I play a volleyball. I never do weight training. It's always, uh, if I do something, it's going to be high intensity training. I'm just trying to be transparent. Okay. And I know sometimes when somebody looks young, he can lose that uh, that credibility and that's why I mentioned it today uh, because I have a lot of friends that told me Tom man your content is great but you look very young and we have like sometimes we can doubt the information and I just I don't want you guys to doubt because I'm doing these videos because I've asked my when I was young I asked a mentor and today I'm able to give back because I've been able to grow my business, my real estate business. And I'd like to mention to you guys, I'm not being paid to do YouTube videos. I could be focusing on growing my real estate business, but I just like to share the information that I learned uh, along the way. And uh, taking baby steps to bring you to where you guys want to achieve. Of course, my goal is always high success. I want to achieve massive success in my life and I want to share my journey uh, along the way. Right now, like I said before, I'm uh, refinancing one of my properties. The first bank they told me was a too much of a small loan, $350,000 for them is too small. So what I'm doing right now, tomorrow I'm going to see two other banks, uh, today and tomorrow I'm going to go see two other banks to get the best financing deal ever. I'm gonna sit with there, I'm gonna see what they're offering me, and I'm going to keep you guys updated because what I wanna do right now is to refinance my my sixplex, get that $250,000, and I wanna leverage that to a million dollar deal, a 12plex, and I keep you guys posted on what's coming and the details on what I'm going through, what, are, what was hard, and yesterday, last night, I called another one of my friends, he's a 
he owns 180 doors. He's a multimillionaire. His house is worth about two million dollars. And I call him up. I'm, I talk to him. He's a, it's, he's a good guy. And he tells me, you need to put your money to work more because I was paying off that six plex and I was getting a 3% return on that money because I didn't like the half debt. But he told me, you're losing two times when you're doing that. You lose because the first thing you're losing is your ability to make money on that money. And then you're losing when you want to take out that money and do something with it because you, you're not able to spend it because you're going to have to show the government where that money went. And that brought me thinking yes of course i need to leverage up my game and he told me like he was rent recommending me that i go with three four plex brand new plex and I, I told him everybody that i saw that went into that domain everyone that i saw it, it wasn't able to keep growing their business because that four plex was too expensive it was was eight hundred thousand dollars for a new plex and for five years eight years they weren't able to refinance and get another deal so I've told him, no, I want to focus on businesses that give me cash flow so that I can buy a 12 plex and maybe go to a 24 plex and then a 60 plex. But he told me, you have to make a choice. Are you going to go all in real estate or are you going to go into finance? And you said you're at a crossroad. You need to choose. And uh, that that's really fun with talking with people that have that high status because they raise your awareness. All right, that's my story. I'm gonna keep on sharing because I want I want to be transparent with you guys. Like like I said, I have four. I'm I'm currently at 19 doors, and I'm 32 years old. My church, my third child is on the way. I have a daughter, a son, and another daughter that's coming. My wife is about to give birth. Uh, if you like these kinds of videos, make sure to subscribe. Make sure to hit that notification bell and uh, leave a like a comment just tell me if i can make the information clearer or it helped out or maybe some points that were missing that maybe you want me to redo shoot it again and give more information but i would I, I thought it was better to not give information i i gave practical information of what i did in my life to get that credit because i always feel that it's better to give practical advice than theory because that practical advice you can start doing it today so i'll leave you guys with that thank you very much have a nice